match the thermodynamic processes given under column 1 with the expression given under column 2 first we see the a process the a process is freezing of water at 273 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure freezing of water accompanied by flow of heat into the surrounding so the change in entropy in system is decreases the change in entropy in surrounding increases in the given option the or a uh, term is correct so delta a system is less than zero at the melting point of any substance enthalpy and entropy contribution to delta g is balanced and uh, delta g is equal to zero the freezing point of uh, water in liquid state and melting point of water in solid state is zero degree celsius at zero degree celsius the entropy and enthalpy terms are exactly cancelled so the t term is also correct for the a process so freezing of water at 273 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure r and the t terms are correct answer next we see the b process that is expansion of one mole of an ideal gas into a vacuum under isolated condition let us consider these two container so one of the container having one mole of an ideal gas one of the container is in vacuum these two containers are separated by stopcock wall these two containers are surrounded by insulated material so it is considered as an isolated condition now we see the results when we open the wall the gas molecules get into the vacuum container until it reaches the equilibrium after reaching the equilibrium it will not move so uh, because of this isolated uh, system q value zero we know that here uh, no work done so w is equal to zero according to first law of thermodynamics delta u is equal to 0 so for the b process q is equal to 0 w is equal to 0 and delta u is equal to 0 next we see the c process c process is the mixing of equal volumes of two ideal gases at constant temperature and pressure in an isolated container let us consider this two container uh, uh, separated by stopcock wall this two containers having equal volumes of ideal gases these containers are surrounded by an insulated material when we open the wall the gas molecules uh, in each container moves towards uh, another uh, container until it reaches the equilibrium now we see the uh, results because of this isolated uh, condition q is equal to 0 here no work done so w is equal to 0 according to first law of thermodynamics delta u is equal to q plus w substituting q and w value we get delta u is equal to 0 So for the C process, the answers are Q is equal to zero, W is equal to zero, and delta U is equal to zero. Next we see the D option. D not option process. The D process is uh, reversible heating of H two gas at one atmospheric pressure from three hundred Kelvin to six hundred Kelvin, followed by reversible cooling to three hundred Kelvin at uh, one atmospheric pressure. now we see the reversible heating and cooling because pressure is constant it comes under isobaric process now we calculate work done for reversible heating here the change in temperature is 300 kelvin w is equal to p delta v p v is equal to n r t so this equation can be written as n r delta t substituting delta t value we get w1 is equal to n r 300 kelvin similarly we calculate work done for reversible cooling 
for uh, this process we have w values equal to minus 300 kelvin nr now we sum these two values we get total work done values equal to zero because of this cyclic process the change in internal energy is equal to zero here we have w is equal to zero delta u is equal to zero so q value is of course zero in a cyclic process delta g is equal to zero for d process the answers are w is equal to zero delta u is equal to zero q is equal to zero delta g is equal to zero now we see the cumulative answer for A process, the answers are R and T. For B process, the answers are P, Q and S. For C process, the answers are P, Q and S. For D process, the answers are P, Q, S and T. Thank you.